Honorable Chairman, sir, I rise here today to deliver my maiden speech on an issue which is very close to my please, heart. Order, please. I salute the martyrs and the brave soldiers of this country, this nation, who have sacrificed their please, life please. for India, our motherland. I thank the Mamati Manush of West Bengal for electing me to this August House. I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister of West Bengal, Ms. Mamta Banerjee, I request the members to go to the for giving, me a, giving a young person like me the opportunity to represent the people of Daibadaba constituency. I'll offer my respect, regards, my salam and pranam to all my respected colleagues of this August House and seek their cooperation, blessings and support. Sir, today I'll speak on Mandrega. What does this mean? NREGA stands for National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. And the MG here, sir, refers to the great Mahatma Gandhi. The scheme ensures 100 days of work to the rural population and rural household of this nation, this country, and is dedicated to the father of the nation. The soul of India lives in its villages, declared the great Mahatma Gandhi at the beginning of 20th century. Now, according to the 2011 census, if you look at the figures, 69% of India's total population lives in its villages, which is more than 6,40,000 villages. Gandhiji dedicated his whole life to the service of the people. Even at the stroke of the midnight when India gained independence and awoke to freedom, on the 14th of August 1947, Gandhiji was at Noakhali, fasting against communal violence. Sir, Mahatma Gandhi stood for communal harmony. Mahatma Gandhi stood for non-violence. Mahatma Gandhi stood for rural development. Mahatma Gandhi stood for peace. Mahatma Gandhi stood for secularism. Mahatma Gandhi stood for truth. Mahatma Gandhi stood for simplicity. Mahatma Gandhi stood for women empowerment. And Mahatma Gandhi stood for equality and unity. That was the era of Mahatma Gandhi. Sadly, now times have changed. And we as individuals now live in a time of a ruthless and divisive MG. We live in, we live in a times of an MG where the MG makes promises and doesn't keep them. An MG that spent billions of dollars on advertising campaigns. An MG that goes on eight foreign trips in a period of six months. An MG that puts his wardrobe before the welfare of the nation. An MG that stood, that supports crony capitalism. This MG is Modi government. The government has used the rims of great Mahatma Gandhi as logo and emblem in one of their campaigns. But sadly and unfortunately, the government has failed to live up to the ideals and values of the father of the nation. Sir, Mandrega was initially implemented in 200 of the most backward districts of the country. And later, subsequently 476 other districts were included in the later course. I asked the government to make a statement on the floor of this house that they will withdraw the circular that seeks to reduce the number of the districts under Mandrega from 676 to 200, which, is, which has a partial dif difference. Dilution of this scheme is going to hit states like Karnataka, West Bengal, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh badly. This state sir, has a huge rural population and the vast areas of Rajasthan are going to be affected as well. This is, why is this government restricting the scheme to 2500 blocks? I would like to know as a member of this house. What will happen to the livelihood of the people in other blocks? So let me give you some facts and figures. Keeping Bengal's achievement in mind, sir, in 2012-2013, West Bengal was the top performing state 
with a total mandates of 20 crore which is 109 percent higher than the national average and in the year 2013 and 2014 the state again exceeded the target even though the allocation was subsequently decreased sir bengal is number one in 100 days work and scheme bengal is number one in skill development bengal is number one in the power sector bengal is number one in the msme sector bengal is number one in women empowerment our kanyashi scream started by the honorable chief minister and the government has been recognized globally bengal is number one in culture our tabloid got the first first prize in the republic day parade sir all this was achieved instead of the state government paying more than one lakh crore to the center as a debt repayment and interest burden this was an inheritance from the 34 years left run government who has left the entire state debt ridden this was achieved in spite of the state not receiving more than 3000 crores as a part of the pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana this was achieved despite the state still being owed more than 1000 crore as a part of 100 days work in this context let me also say that the funds allocated by the center to the respective state should reach the state at a right time without an iota of hesitation now my understanding is the funds that is allotted by the center reaches the reaches some state and they also get an array of other financial aids and services on time and the other states suffer sir this affect the livelihood of poorest of poor miserably despite this obnoxious discrimination despite this obnoxious discrimination and financial deprivation by the center west bengal is moving on the course and surge of development sir and now crores of people lose their livelihood because of center's decision to dilute the mandrega scheme sir according to the ministry of rural development over 10 crore household has applied for the work under narega scheme however work has only been issued approximately to 8 crore household living more than 3 crore jobless and without work sir during the last 8 years 180000 crore was pay, paid as wages to the workers as per the rural development ministry what is the figure during the last 6 months i would like to know from this government why are the funds being slashed deliberately i would know i would like to know from this central government of nda and how much money has been paid by the new government to the worker as a part of the wages sir we should remove the word guarantee from this act or scheme because after the government came to power not a single day day's wage was paid to the worker promises are made but not delivered so the budget provision of narega was 33000 crore in the year 2013 and 2014 and this year is 34000 crore now if we take into account inflation the allocation is much lower compared to the last year is the government serious about this scheme do they want to work for the poor and downtrodden of the country of a united india or are they here to serve the interest of a chosen few sir my colleague shankar prasad datta started this topic and he mentioned that bengal has received 75 percent of the funds sir i would urge him or his party members that please request him to get your facts right before you speak because in the year 2013-14 west bengal received 2214 crores and this year west bengal has just got 1072 crore which is not even 50 percent which is not even 50 percent and still we are number one sir that day hukumji spoke hukumji ne hukum dev darayan ji ne kaha ke ye koi devta ka roop thodi da hai ye koi devi devta ka roop thodi na hai jo badla nahi ja sakta main unko samman karta hu unka aadar karta hu unka qadar karta hu par main ye bhi kehta hu ke hum sab ne ramayan padha hai hum sab har dharm ko respect karte hai humne ramayan mein kya dekha sir humne ramayan mein dekha ke jab ravan ek rishi muni aur sant ke roop mein 
सीता के पास भीख मांगने गया था अपना रूप बदल के तो उसका सेवा नहीं करने गया था उसका अपहरण करके उसको लंका लेके गया गया था उसी हिसाब से उसी तरह से ये गवर्नमेंट इसका रूप बदल के आम आदमी का उपकार भला नहीं कर रहे उसका पेट में लात मार रहे हैं ऑन वन हैंड द गवर्नमेंट इज स्लैशिंग द एलोकेशन ऑफ बंडे का स्कीम विच बेनिफिट द पुअर एंड the downtrodden of this country on the other hand we see what the state bank of india is giving away taxpayers money to the crony capitalist in the form of a loan sir i wouldn't like to name it to attract some more con con controversy i would just like to state that the state bank of india has sanctioned a loan of 6000 crore for a coal mine in australia to a company which five multinational banks have refused to approve this prove what i what what times are we living in sir i want to raise another important issue the proposed change in the labor to material ratio sir government is proposing a reduction of material ratio from 60 40 to 51 49 this change will dilute the employment objective of the scheme without increasing the productivity sir this move will have detrimental effects and must be reconsidered instead sir what we suggest is that the government should provide technical assistance and seek expert help in implementing the scheme to gram panchayat level as every government according to the people of india according to the democracy should be government of the people government for the people and government by the people sir i would like to end by referring to the tribal dominated district where the mandrega scheme has failed to take off is it the aravalli district in gujarat from where the prime minister of the country hails i have just a direct question to this government like i asked before are they here to welfare work for the welfare of the poor welfare of the farmers welfare of the downtrodden welfare of the countrymen or are they here to serve the interest of a chosen few sir Six months after the misleading and false promises of Achyudin, after 28 eminent economists wrote to the Prime Minister of the country, expressing their concern over the proposed permutation and dilution. All I can say, it is falling on the ears of a narcissistic, tyrannical government, which is heartless, actionless, and visionless. I stand here at this temple of democracy. which is the highest forum of democracy in this country which is the temple church masjid of the country of india at the winter of 2014 in this august house of people with a new meaning of the acronym nrega sir indisputably nrega now stands for nasty ruthless endeavor going anti people thank you sir